Okay, here's another box I built. Um, it's obviously got a bunch of painted sides, which you'd think I might be able to use it for a combination of some sort. And not really. <laughs> um, the way this one works, obviously there's only one way in right through here, because it's the only side you can see there's a um, an opening, at least a potential of an opening. And the way this one works is it works out of a combination, yes, um, but by knock. So I will knock on the, uh, the box side, and the vibration is received by the little processor. And this combination is one, two, three, two, one. And for this one, the box is tipped upside down, so the, the opening will just follow like that. So we'll just see how this works here. There you go. Just opens up. Um, this particular box, there's a little, um, which I'll zoom the camera back a little bit here. It is all the way back. Um, has a little uh, thing right here and uh, this little um, stepper motor just twists over and locks into here to lock down the box. Um, it really doesn't need a big, huge uh, chip like this. This one has a whole bunch of um, another <laughs> set of light chip that's used for sending signals um, when you move it across like this. It's one of those light array units, but really only takes four um, IOs for that. One for that little vibration sensor right there, and one for the sensor to see whether the, the uh, or switch to see if the box is open or shut. So that's 4 plus 1 plus 1, exactly what a, an 8-pin chip would take, like a, a 12F675 or 683 would do just fine. And I'm just using two of these button batteries, um, like a CR2450 or something like that. So in order to close it, I just, well, there's a little opening there. I just slide back down and there you go. It's all done. Enjoy.